Hi friends, Miss Janet here coming to you from the Stola Library. I wanted to do a stem craft with you today. Today we are going to do a tie-dye craft. So I don't know if you know what that means, but you're going to find out. So all that you need is a coffee filter. So just ask your mom um, if you could have a coffee filter. So you're going to need that. You're going to need some markers. And I'm going to suggest don't use brown or black. So any color except brown or black. So your markers. You're going to need some glue. And you're probably going to need your scissors and some paper. Just whatever color of paper you have handy. And then you're going to sit down and you are going to color. First of all, you're going to take your um, coffee filter and you're just going to flatten it so that you can color on it. All that you need to do is color on half of it. And I will just show you. Miss Janet colored on half of hers. So I just actually, I folded it in half and kind of made a line. And I just colored on one side. So color it as much or as little as you want. And after you've colored it as much as you choose, then what you need to do, and you might need help with this, you're just going to fold it in half. And fold it in half again, and you can fold it in half again. So it looks like maybe like a slice of pie. And that one you're going to do, you might want to put some gloves on because the marker comes off on your fingers. But you're just going to go to the sink. You're going to put a few drops of water right on the very end. And then you're just going to make that water travel all the way along your coffee filter and it's just going to make the colors go everywhere it'll go all over your coffee filter and then after it's wet you'll need to just lay it somewhere maybe on some newspaper so you don't get any um, color on your counter or your table so after it's wet make sure you put it on some newspaper or some other paper to dry and while it's drying you can cut out a shape and I chose a shape I thought this was going to be a peacock so I just cut out a shape that could be like the body of a peacock and then you could either color on its beak and its eyes give it some feet you can color color it with your markers or you can cut it out of another colored piece of paper which is what I chose to do so I cut the body out of blue and I cut the beak and the feet out of orange and then I just drew some eyes on him. So however you choose to do it, just give him a colored body because white might not just be what you want. And I will show you the picture of my finished peacock. So after he was dry, I just glued on my body shape and I gave him his feet and his beak and I gave him some eyes. And I have a beautiful peacock that I can put somewhere as a beautiful piece of art. So it's just interesting to see how the colors just bleed out onto that coffee filter and give so many colors and give you the, um, the beautiful feathers of your peacock. So I hope that you will have fun making a peacock using your coffee filter because you know you can use your coffee filter and make all different animals. But today I chose to make a peacock and I hope that you will make one too and you can have a beautiful craft to put on your fridge or to hang in your room or to put somewhere special at your house. So have fun Hope you're having a great day and I will see you again soon with another idea of something to make and then one day hopefully you'll show it to me. You'll show me all your creations. I hope you're having fun and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.